Hi, this is Loop. And this is Hasma. And between us, we more than 15 years of rock band music experience. Hasma plays the bass. I play the drums, and today we're reacting to West Borland's live gear rundown. We're Ooh. big, big, big fans of West Borland's. I think he's one of the most underrated. So he's not underrated. No? He's rated. Okay. He's rated R. He's rated R. All right. Let's do it. We are also gear. Can we talk about the fact that he was a pioneer of these crazy outfits on stage? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I love, yeah, I love watching it. does it, but, you know. He, he paved the way. <laughs> when you see him without anything. <laughs> it's amazing that now he looks like Bowser from uh, Super Mario. No, Wario. I'm actually. West Borland from Limp Bizkit. This Yo, is Wario. my live guitar rig, the uh, European version. Of is that a Eddie Van Wait. Yes. Why two heads? Why three heads? Usually you, you have three he two heads if you have a spare. So uh, I'm guessing that one of the two is a spare of the one. Uh -huh. And uh, he should have a spare of the big one up there too. Or What's the first one? D Diesel. Diesel? Yeah. Is it good? If you're metal... Guy. It's a metal metal head. Yeah. Oh. Of it, um, some bits come over from America and get integrated with the European version, mainly the diesel VH4S uh, and my pedal board, which is over that way. I also have guitars that live over here and guitars that live in the U.S. and we sort of mix them and match them depending oh. on what songs we're going to be playing, what the new album we've done recently, uh, how much of that's going to be on the set and. Um, other things like that. Anyway, this Beat is sort of guitars. like when I come off stage and come around, this is sort of my little station where I'll usually have towels and water towel. set up. And I also have an, <laughs> Instead of towels, it's the water. an in-ear mixer here so I can just oh. read, like never have to talk. He's got his own mix. That's the monitor cool. guy can just um, make my own adjustments if there's anything off. Anyway, Fancy. starting with the, also bring the water from the US. Parts. There's clean amps and then distortion amps water. in my pedal board is basically two pedal boards they're like a train track so first of all the diesel is powering a couple of cabs here and the evh is powering an evh cab here this is a backup for the main evh in case this one ever goes down but we're yeah, he knows you always have to have a backup he knows basically blending these two amps and the vh4 is capable of um it has two transformers so it's capable of running it, ha it has to have two cabinets in parallel to be able to work or it'll explode and a spinal tap will happen or something. I'm not sure. But um, we've never <laughs> tried movie. it. We've always done the right thing. Cadaver, my trusty guitar dick and uh, love child, brother in arms, all that, who's behind the camera over here. So we've got uh, the, we have this uh, powering this cab. Um, there's only two of them that I know to exist. It was made by VHT. Uh, it's a 612 cab. The top two speakers are open back. The bottom four speakers are closed back. It sounds really good. And um, wait, but He's super nerding in this thing. Wow. Yeah, of course. But I never seen like usually the rig rundown is just like the the. the <laughs> That's what I use. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. like now he's telling. He me loves talking what, about it. What it has inside the cab. It's amazing. But so. He's obviously like these get microphoned also, right? He's gonna. I think he's gonna tell us. Okay. Uh, yeah, they, it's they through the diesel. Yeah, it's just like course. power of the gods. Thor has come down and just like electrocuted us on stage. It's amazing. So that's powering this. This is powering this, and we've got a DI going between this and this, which okay, blends in with the microphone, uh, the, so, the speaker sound that we. So, yeah, he said that he has the microphone speaker plus a DI of the EVH uh -huh. before the DI is before it goes inside this base. Interesting. Get from the microphones. And then I've got a Mesa cab, which is also carrying some of the load of the diesel VH4S. That's um, a Mesa. For clean, I've always used Roland JC120s. There's two of them on stage, one being slaved off of the other. And uh, you seen the only one is mic'd with two microphones. Dude, this looks terrible. This looks so bad. I it's mean, I, I love it. Him. I love it, but it's so... I love when people use their stuff. <laughs> and the other one is just to give a little more punch on stage and to make Dude, us the death. The volume on stage of this guy has to be insane. Insane, right? Are not wearing in-ears. Anyway, 
That Wait, kind of- what? <laughs> Only one is mic'd with two microphones, and the other one is just to give a little more punch on stage and to make us deaf if we are not wearing in-ears. Anyway, <laughs> that covers the business in the back. So now we've stepped around to He's the, loving it. the stage, where today we're going to be talking about <laughs> the pedal the board bed. that I use live and also the front of my cabinets, which have all been painted on. My JC. Also, uh, John Otto got skinny and he's getting fat. But uh, can, I, I want those shoes. Uh, it's been since the since the slick milk video that I want those shoes. I should buy them right now. Really? Yeah. This guy looks like a dad now. You know, he looks like Wario. And he's also Wario. the front of my cabinets, which have all been <laughs> painted. If they ever gonna do a like a concert, Limp Bizkit, open. Uh-huh. Opened by uh, Electric Cowboy. Uh-huh. We're gonna go back and give him a Wario hat. Okay. On. We need Luigi. My JC120 has a Sennheiser on one speaker and an Aston mic made here in the UK on the other. We Once we got these, we just fell in love with them. And then another Sennheiser on the top of the 612 VHT. Different most Sennheiser, of, though. Most of this cabinet has been over the years. Uh, several different face paints where I've come up to the cabin, smashed my face <laughs> on it during a show. Uh, I don't really remember. This was painted, I think, on the, maybe a, in the early 2000s. Wow. I don't know, at home I did that one. I painted this one in England. This was just used like acrylic paint, basically a tube put on this. Uh, this is our drum tech, Gabe, uh, that I did a portrait of on Poor my guy. amp when we took rubber bands and string and ran them around his face so that it smashed his nose in um and i'm sure this is my bad behavior at some point on stage stabbing the cabinet <laughs> white hand i probably just ran my hand through my hair and did that on this one but anyway i have another rig in the united states that looks similar with different cabs and paintings and uh we keep this one over here because it's cheaper to just store it than ship it so I'm happy to see it. It's been That's since the beginning of the pandemic. I haven't seen it in a long oh, time. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Here we are now at the live Damn. pedal board. Um, this board is essentially two boards. My first... You love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love this part. Dude, how many freaking boss he has. Yep. Here we are now at the live How many freaking board. boss delays um, he has. This board is essentially two boards. My first board... It's fine. Uh, ...looked almost like this, but was a little bit smaller, and... Um, at the Boomtown Festival in 2018, the stage collapsed. Uh, stage, the roof of the stage filled with water and collapsed on the board. You can look that up on YouTube and oh, no. watch it right here, right now. Okay, <laughs> you can actually get that on YouTube and see the. Um, <laughs> I love that they put it on, like, anyway, like super delayed. <laughs> Dude, that's you bad. You can get that on YouTube and see the. Um, wow. Anyway, wow. Uh, then I took the board. Uh, uh, Cadaver and I went through that board, a great uh, name. opened Cadaver. the pedals up, called in favors to local companies in England or in Germany, wherever we Damn. went next, and tried to get new pedals. Luckily, I think we had a day or two off, uh, and we kind of rebuilt the board. But then I took the board back to L.A. and was living at Fred's house for a short period of time, and his house burned down in the Malibu fires <laughs> with my board in it. That's uh, terrible. And being made of aluminum, it melted, and that's the end of that. So. The cursed, the cursed this is the board. New board that looks almost then like the, the old board, but it's slightly too, so. improved. Um, now he's going to Florida with this uh, <laughs> hurricane, <laughs> and all new pedals, obviously, because the other ones are toast. So, going basically, the red in the middle is the switcher. That's the distortion board, and then the clean board is here. The only thing that goes on both of them is the lo-fi loop junkie, so I can grab a quick loop and like change guitars with either twinkling delay spacious soundscapes or a you know obnoxious distorted noise that just Dude, this pedal board is insane it's not I've seen, what i've seen way way worse really like the crazy part is that he has four these four are the same pedal this 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 and this why like, he probably uses different delays in different songs oh. and instead of getting like a fake one like you know like a digital one that you can program, mm-hmm. you, you know, like a, a lot of people now they use the camper that you can have your pedals. Yeah, you know, you just press the song; mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. they know already. He 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 likes to stay. He loves his delays. Fuck yeah! Yeah, loops as I'm changing. I've also used it. If I break a string during a song, I'll make like a noise and grab it, and then play it, and it'll just keep 
droning while I grab a new guitar. Boom. Gone. Done. Changed. No one even knew. Magic. So on this board, <clears throat> we've got the AB in the middle. The Lo-Fi Loop Junkie takes both signals, but also goes right into the AB. Um, people ask me, why do you have so many boss delays? Boss delays are really effective. I really only have two on each side. Only? I've got one that I use for several songs, and then this one's just like basically the rolling roll DA. That's why, I mean, the rolling delay, that's why it says roll on it. Then I've got uh, Strymon El Capistan that I use for actually get down and move the feedback and the delay times to get different effects. I've got a wah pedal that I don't really use for wah. I use it more to like hold a tone and then to like for songs like Pollution or Just Like This. Uh, uh, the noise suppressor only goes to the distortion channel. The it's just the wah open. Really? That's cool. Damn. Chromatic tuner only goes to the clean channel. So if I'm just, I don't want to change guitars, I can just do a quick tune up. And be on my Quick way. Not being um, able over to here, we've got a slower delay for <laughs> older songs on the first two records. Um, Quick. And then a quicker delay that's mainly for stuff off of Chocolate Starfish, Cold Cobra, and um, Still Sucks. Uh, the Big Sky has three, two different main delay settings. Sort of a cloud setting and then just a standard Dude, you only, uh, reverb. This, his pedal is only like, delays. The reverb. That's they, crazy. They don't make the Boss uh, delay re digital delay reverb pedal anymore. It's gone. They don't make it. So I've got to add in my own reverb. This is a prototype pedal for me that uh, is it a delay? working on with a company from Prague right now. What is uh, it? I have a couple of delays <laughs> set in the timeline. One is for the song Out of Style. One is for Boiler, which is like a multi-tab delay. Um, Another delay. Dude, the Ibanez <laughs> Chorus Flame. He only have delays. That's crazy. The worst chorus flanger ever existed, the Ibanez and OCD, pretty good overdrive. What's OCD? And, and the oh, Qtron. Okay. The Qtron is like cool. Everyone should have a Qtron. What does Andrew it do? It's used it's on my way. Um, it almost has a ring modulation sound. And uh, we try to get new old stock ones of those because they don't make them anymore. But don't buy them because we want them. Okay. Um, <laughs> The overdrive right now is an OCD by full tone, but it's sort of ever changing. It's not really that important. It's an overdrive for the clean channels Damn. for to just get, you know, a little bit of crunch on them, even though they're solid state amps. It, the sound is fine. And then the Q. Wait, so. I love that he's like, this is an overdrive. You can put any overdrive. Overdrive sucks. It's amazing. That's crazy. So. People don't use the pedal overdrive, they use the amp overdrive. So you, you, the overdrive usually is for if you don't, if you have a head that doesn't overdrive, like overdrive means that you're overdriving your head. Yeah. So like that, that kind of... It's like a distortion, it's right? It's just a little less than a distortion. Like it's not like, like a distortion. And uh, Interesting. so sometimes you use a pedal, like, and he uses it. He said that he uses it on the, on the Rollins and the Rollins is the one that he uses for clean. So Interesting. Tron is for songs like Full Nelson, Hot Dog, um, Envelope, wah, 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 kind of filter. Damn, he um, knows. And then the board is really oh. solid because I'm sort of rough on things on stage and I like to have a place to put my foot sometimes. We also have an Ebo uh, that I use on songs like Boiler and it's on a string so that I can just drop it. What does and that do? Be able to play it. That's um, it's a thing that you put like on a string it on the ground. It's I used to throw e bow it because it sounds field. like it's a like a bow, like you know when you play like a violin, uh. and uh, so you put it there and it, you put it on the string and it vi vibrates one string at the time and it sounds like it's a bow. So like you know that boiler at the beginning. Uh -huh. That's that. I have never seen I this used before. To, I, um, my first guitar player in my first band used to have one. Really? Yeah. I've never seen this in my life. But then we broke a lot of them, so. Shocker. What are you going to do? Uh, and that covers uh, the front business. Thanks for joining us. Damn, that was cool. All right, now we're gonna watch. I want to know the guitar. I want to know the guitars. There's no guitar rundown yet. But we have it out of style, though. We cannot change the oh, past. I love this we song. We can start today to make a better tomorrow. 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 
you can tell he's so not in his comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like he, to be I think filmed, he hates huh? it. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. he hates it. Also, he's naked. He doesn't have his makeup. Yeah. It's like I'm masked slipping. This is so good. This is one of the best riffs ever. It's so good. It's so good, right? Oh, wait a second. So, dude, have you seen the that simulator has his name on the, on a diesel kind of amp? I think this is like a either I don't know. Like the, they did like a. You talking about the pedal? No, I think it's a pre like a, a preset for some uh, software. <laughs> so good. Ah, yeah, that's it. I've been asking for something. Asking for something. In the bass. While I'm asking for nothing. One note up there. Is it gonna True. That's crazy. I never noticed that. Hurts me in a loving kind of way. This is amazing. It's the best song that they did in a while. So this is the verse, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> like his verse is like bam, 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 bam. So he has his own software now. Is that what it no, is? No, I think it's just companies. Like a they preset. Do, yeah, company they do presets all the time. I, I'm, I'm not sure that's what it looks yeah, yeah, like. That's cool. Oh wow, Looking they did. Yeah, 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 it's his preset. That's kind of cool. Yeah. If I played the guitar, I would totally. What it is he has hanging from his neck? What? I would say delirious for the record. Looking back as a skeptic, why is there a cross hanging from my necklace? Where's it cross? In a lovely kind of way. He's like the only the only guitar player I know that uses the Floyd Rose that's just like normal like <laughs> like a normal yeah, like thing, you know. They like, use it like in the instead of like soloing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like a normal In a riff. Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. crazy part. <laughs> So those are all the same pedals we just saw. Yeah, in except except there there was a um, sixteen delays. Big of muff thing. and the big muff he didn't have it in the pedal board. It's pretty cool though. Very cool, yeah. I love that it doesn't have a pickup. I was gonna say that. Why he doesn't have a pickup? So he can kill switch just with the pickup selector. You know what's the insane song that you can tell that he moves like a motherfucker on stage because mm. look at his like uh, the 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 attack for it for uh, the yeah. attachment for the for the chain yeah it's like a that's drilled and you know how I know like back in the days like when I used to be crazy on stage uh -huh. I changed like one of my ba bass like uh like this instrument guy that I used to go like to fix my bass uh -huh. like uh, in 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 the upper like um shoulder of my base he put like a this long of a of a like a like a drilled in 
bit. screw uh-huh. because like I was always like ripping them off all the time and I ripped Damn. off even that one and then I started using gaff tape because the gaff tape is the best thing in the world. Be- better than this? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, I was gonna say. But it doesn't have a shoulder. That's why he put, he put oh, that. True, true, if true, you true. have a shoulder, you, you gaff tape it to the shoulder. That's true. Yeah, this guitar is like... Yeah. Yeah. Why does he like this guitar? I feel like that's such an impractical shape for a guitar. I don't know. The Randy Rhodes guitar. Yeah, it's cool though. No, it's cool. I mean, it, it's it's cool looking, but I don't think it's very practical. I don't know. Yeah, like flying Vs are funny. Yeah. Anyways, uh, big fan of West Borland, dude. Damn, we should do more nerding videos. More this nerdy fun. gear rundown. Let us know in the comments if you guys want to see more gear rundown and who should we look at next. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see if they're going to drop some more stuff. But we also, you haven't seen them live recently. No. I, I have. You you have to come next I time. Should, cause huh? Wes is an amazing tool. I Watch. Will. I will. Yeah, he's really good. Anyways, end of the video, guys. Thank you for hanging. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, ring the bell. We also stream, we have merch, all the links down below. Thank you for being here.